In this video, I'm going to show you how to install all the components that you need to do network analysis using Python and Atom. So from WT class, use the link provided to get to the Python download page, or just look for download Python. And you're going to want to download Python 3.7. Mac comes pre-installed with 2.7, but we're going to want to use 3.7, so we'll have to download it here. And we'll also have to make a couple of adjustments if your Mac does already have version two on it, but I'll show you how to do those as we go along. So go ahead and download it. And then run the installer. From here, you're just going to hit continue a few times. It'll give you some information about what's being installed, Python 3.7 and its various components. Go ahead and click continue and continue again and continue one more time and agree to the license agreement and then hit install. From here, the installation will take place. It might take a little bit of time, but it shouldn't take that long. From here, what we're going to do is go to applications and we're going to open up the utilities folder. And then what we're going to do is open up the terminal so that we can test to see if Python 3 was properly installed. So go ahead and double click on the terminal to run it. And from here, just type in Python 3, no space, and hit enter. And if you get the following, then it's working properly. If not, you'll have to double check your install. And if you really get stuck, just let me know and I can see what I can do to help you. The next thing we're going to do is install network X using pip. So type pip3 install network X and hit enter. And I already installed it, so you can see this message, but ideally it will go to the internet and get the packages that it needs to install network X. If you have problems with this step, again, just let me know. Next, we're going to pip3 install matplotlib. So that's M-A-T-P-L-O-T-L-I-B and hit enter. And you'll see that it goes out and gets all the components that it needs. This is the message you should see if it worked properly. Again, if something doesn't work, just let me know and I can see what I can do to help you. The next thing we're going to do is install Atom. So go to the link provided or just atom.io and click the download button. It should say Mac OS. And then run the Atom installer. Now you're welcome to use any IDE that you like if you have experience with programming, but I'm going to be showing the use of Atom in class. From here, we're going to install a couple other packages. I know lots of packages to install. First of all, if you ever lose the welcome guide, just go back to help and choose welcome guide and it will show back up. So you can grab that installer. From here, we're going to click on install a package and I've provided a list of the ones that you'll need on WT class. Click open installer. And the first one we're going to look for is called script. So look for script and then click install. And you'll do this for each name of each package. You'll just look for it and then hit install. So there are several of them to install, including script and build Python. So when you do build Python, it will ask you to install some dependencies. So just go ahead and say yes on those.
build Python will be really important to make sure that everything runs properly. And once everything's finished, you'll have green message that the different packages that you needed were installed. Don't worry about that error that I have there. Uh, it shouldn't apply to you. So from here, we're going to go ahead and test to see if it works. So you may already have a file open called untitled, and you can use that if you like. But just to show you how to open up a new file, we'll go to File, New File. And then from here, we'll save it. So I'll just do Save As. Make sure that you know where you're putting it. And we're going to call it test.py. Make sure you have the .py after it. That will indicate that it is a Python file. Go ahead and save it. And now we're going to run a couple things in order to test to see that everything's working. So the first thing that we're going to do is just print hello out to the console with some really simple, really basic Python. So we're going to type print. And after you type print, you will open a parenthesis and you should see that it offers a closed one. If it doesn't, you'll have to close it by yourself. But then in quotes, and the quotes are really important, write hello. So you should have print, and then in parentheses and in quotes, the word hello. Now you'll notice that there's a blue dot there. The blue dot indicates that you've added something new and that it hasn't been saved yet. So I'm going to go ahead and save it using the keyboard shortcut. And you'll see that that blue dot goes away. Now we're going to go ahead and run this to see if it works. So we're going to go to packages and all the way down to script and then do run script. You can see the, the keyboard shortcut there. And what you should see is at the bottom, it will say hello to you. So congratulations. If you've never worked with this before, you've now run your first Python program. There's a couple other things that we need to make sure are working because remember we installed Network X and Matplotlib. At the top of the file, I'm going to write import Network X and then under that, import matplotlib. So that's M-A-T-P-L-O-T-L-I-B. And I'm going to try to run it again. So go back up to packages and down to script and run script. Again, you can use the shortcut command I to run it if you're comfortable. And you see we have an error here. So what we're going to do to fix this error is go back up to packages and down to script. And we're going to go to configure script. And from here, what we're going to do is under command, we're going to tell it to use Python 3 instead of Python 2. So in, under command, we're going to type Python 3, no space. Hit run. And you can see that now it says hello again with no errors. If you want to double check, just run it again using keyboard shortcut or otherwise, but make sure you have Python 3 in there and everything should work fine at that point. If at any point you have a lot of trouble, just let me know as soon as you can, and I will do what I can to get it fixed. Screenshots are extremely helpful, so make sure that you do take a screenshot and send it to me so I can help you figure out what's going on. But you should now be ready to do some network analysis in Python using Atom.